viewers to another episode on ASUG 12 exams. So in this episode, we continue looking at the November 2022 Mathematics Paper 2. So in this episode, we focus on question 5. So question 5 leads, answer the all of this question on a sheet of plain paper. Question A, construct a parallelogram a, B, C, D, in which A, B equals 10 centimeter, A, D equals B, C, which is equal to 6.5 centimeters. Angle B, A, D equals 110 degrees and angle A, B, C, 70 degrees. Question B, measure and write the length of A, C. Question C, within parallelogram A, B, C, D, construct the locus of points which are 3 centimeters from a b c six centimeters from c then equidistance from b c and d c d then question d a point z within parallelogram a b c d is such that it is less than or equal to three centimeters from a b less than or equal to six centimeters from c and d nearer to c d than b c indicate clearly by shading the region in which z must lie so basically these are the questions that we need to answer so let us move straight to question a where we are required to construct a parallelogram a b c d so we have that one then we have a b is 10 centimeter then we have these two then we have these angles so let me move to the new page then i just explain how you approach this question so what you need you need of course a ruler um a compass and a protractor so the first thing that you do is for you to answer question a i've just zoomed out so that i have enough space so the first thing that you do is basically you are going to put a dot on point a so point a here then you get a basically your basically compass you put it here after measuring it on the ruler and ensuring that basically this is uh, 10 centimeters so once you get the 10 centimeters you put your um, compass here you start measuring from here then you measure up to here then you come here and draw this arc so this is the first arc that you are going to draw so once you get that arc then you get your ruler and draw this line from here to there then of this point then next what you do is basically get your ruler again and the compass and measure the 6.5 so 6.5 basically you are going to get an arc you put it here then you measure this arc then again at this point where we have an intersection between this arc and this line you draw using your ruler you draw this arc then you get your ruler basically you measure this one which should be basically 10 centimeter then next you do the same here you are going to put your ruler then before you measure you need to get this angle this angle should be 100 and 10 which is in b a d this angle so i'm going to get basically your protractor here come and put it there then you measure that angle then whatever this is passing here basically you put a dot then you join with your ruler Similarly here you measure with it at 70 degrees you measure this angle here or you measure this angle to be 110 then wherever this is going to a basically pass you put a dot here then after you put that dot basically you join there at the point where it's meeting the arc then this is the point which you shall be basically see then this shall be d once you do that you are good to go then you use your ruler just use your ruler basically you come and join this point to get that shape so basically you would have answered the question a then our next basically what you do is is to measure so what you need to do is to measure basically a c which is just one mark so you're going to measure this distance so if you've done collected the angles this distance should give you 9.9 .9 centimeters then once you do that you are good to go so these are the steps that you need to follow then next is to go to a uh, question c so question c requires us basically uh within this parallelogram to uh, basically start with roman numeral one 
we draw all the locus points which are 3 centimeters from AB. So basically AB is this line. So that's AB. So how do we get all the points that are within the parallelogram but they are 3 centimeters from AB and that's the locus of points. So what you do is basically you are going to get basically your compass, this compass, then and your ruler. So this ruler, so once you get your compass and you are going to measure your compass here, we feel uh, basically 3 centimeters, which will be from here to basically this, uh, basically these uh, are 3 centimeters. So once you get these uh, 3 centimeters, then you come and basically make two arcs. So you can put a point here, then you make this arc. Then again, at this point, you make uh, this arc. Or alternatively, what you can do here, then you make this arc here. So you are going to have two arcs. Then you are going to get your ruler. Once you get your ruler, you place your ruler somewhere here. Then you are going to draw this uh, straight line. So that straight line is basically is what is going to guide you on the locus of point. So you see this line. So this line is basically what is answering there. So key is ensure these two uh, twisty two locus that are Measure the three centimeters in from BC. Then you join this line. So this line is the locus of those points. Then next is basically we are looking at Roman numeral two, which is six centimeters from C. So what you do again, you go to C. Then at C, this point, which is point C, this point, then you are going to get this compass and again measure using a ruler this 60 centimeters from here to here then get this compass put it here then draw this locus or this arc so these points are basically six centimeters from all these points that are along from c so once you do that uh, basically this is a uh, lomani numero two then next is equidistant from bc and cd so equidistant you are saying they are all equal when you are moving from BC and also going to CD. So basically, how do you answer this question? So what you do is basically, again, you are going to need two things. Basically, the, the compass and the, uh, the ruler in this case. Remember, they are all starting from C. So we are going from C to B or BC, then also C to D. So it's from here to here. Then from here to here. That's why you see BC. So BC is this line. Then CD is this line. So they are equidistant. So if they are equidistant, it means they are equal distance. So what you do is basically the first thing that you need to do in this case is you are going to get any distance. So extend this compass by any distance. And that distance, you are going to make this arc. So this distance and this arc should be the same. Using the same without changing the distance. Then after you do that, then you come and put in the compass here, then make another arc. Now this arc will be, you've seen this arc, it will be this arc. Then again, you move from there now, you come to this point, then you make another arc from this point. So where these two are meeting, then this will join in the line that will start from C and pass through there. This tells us that from here to here is equal distance. So these points are equal distance. That's what it tells us. That's where the part equal distance is coming from. Then once you do that, you get the two marks. Then our next uh, basically is for us to answer now D. So for D, what we are saying is basically D, we need to show basically a point. So this point is a Z within the parallelogram is such that it is less or equal to 3 centimeters from uh, AB. So less or equal to 3 centimeters from AB. So you see the points that are below this line. So going in this direction, all these points. Then uh, number two, less or equal to 6 centimeters from C. So it's basically the points that are above uh, this line because this is the 6 centimeters from C. Then of course, we have basically nearer to CD than BC. So the points that are nearer to CD than BC are points that are this side of this line. 
so we have now this boundary so ideally what we mean with now basically is we will lab that then we are going again to lab this part then and that part so what we have is basically and this part and this part then we also lab this part so we mean with that area in between so the area you are seeing in between is basically the area we are interested in then the question says uh indicate clearly by shading the region in which z must lie so basically this is the region in which z must lie so once you do that basically you get the full max so basically this is how you answer this question step by step in detail so thank you for watching at this video please join me in the next episode where we continue looking at this paper extensively thank you viewers for watching uh, this uh, episode if you find this a uh, video to be very helpful please consider liking sharing and if you are new to this channel subscribe to our channel once you go to our channel we we'll discover that we've got uh, so much content for you you'll notice that we've got a uh, mathematics a uh, physics and chemistry we've also got a section that is uh, arranged by topics you could be a finding challenges with a specific topic this is the best section for you